Yo, what is up, Shib fam? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to episode number two as we continue Gentry Hudson's story of survival. I know this is outside my wheelhouse, but I appreciate everybody that tuned into episode one. Yeah, I am very much a truck sim, farm sim, simulation game style streamer. But our first episode did really well, and I appreciate that. You know, getting into a character was, uh, it's not a very good character, but I had a lot of fun. So thank y'all. Before we get started, do me a big favor. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job and you guys like the content. If you have a place to share it, share it with your friends and family. Invite your friends and family. I appreciate that as well. And most importantly, if you haven't hit the sub button, join us. We're still closing in on our first 1,000 subscribers. I can't thank y'all enough. For all of you that have subbed and helped us get to that first 1,000, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank y'all for tuning in. I hope you enjoy episode two of Jetry Hudson's survival story. On the first episode of Gentry Hudson's Story of Survival. This world. It ain't nothing like I remember. You got it. I'll be eating. I don't know where this road goes. Hell. I pray it leads me to my family. Every town's got them. Like I said, there ain't a place in this world that's safe. This town ain't something ain't right. Something's wrong with this town. We're home for the night. I don't know what time that fire went out. I reckon it's time to get moving. As long as the light's out. Can't afford to stay in one place. Thought I heard something around there. We're gonna have to choose violence today. It's a kill or be killed world out here now. World out here looks good. It looks nice. I reckon autumn with all these colors. Another time. Not this time. You gotta ask yourself. Those things ever like you and me? And if so, what? What happened? They looking, they're all here looking for the family just as just as much as I am. I don't know. They don't, they don't talk, they don't listen. They want his blood. They want his your blood. Even in war, you gotta feel sorry for some. I 
sure as hell don't feel sorry for them. I told you. You can kill one, you can... You can kill a thousand. Look at them all. They're looking. They're looking for the likes of you and me. Strange. Usually they gather around where all the houses are. Busiest cities and towns. There ain't a house here for miles. Makes you wonder what they're after. What are they truly after? I ain't sticking around to find out. I don't know where these main roads go. I got a feeling they're gonna bring us to all those things. They're all over. Lord help us. I can't believe it. That's a flag on somebody's building. That's a helicopter right out behind the house. There's a chance we'll find human life yet. Maybe, maybe I'm not the only one after all. I don't see no more. Torn between getting a closer look and minding my own business. See nobody here. I ain't seen no movement. somebody's here there's life in that house Maybe not at the moment but somebody stays here I'll be it's a working helicopter My guess is that thing's been in flight recently. Somebody's trying to protect themselves or protect them from something else. That way there, that'll bring us right back down to the coast. Reckon the coast ain't no place for us. Ain't no place for humans. Reckon we continue to work our way in. In and up. Get a good look at the lay of the land for a moment. Good lord. It's like they're building an army. It's like a search party.
like they're searching. Searching for their former selves. I ain't seen nothing like it. They're mobilizing, they're multiplying. They're building an army. We ain't ever gonna make it. We ain't gonna make it on our own. Lord knows how long we're gonna be out here. If help's coming or help will ever come. I reckon it's uh it's about time we start thinking long term. Find some houses or some hunting camps, grab what we can, whether it's ammo, fishing pole. I'd go for some go for some nice fresh fish over the fire. Stay downwind from them, they ain't gonna hear us. I'm starting to figure out their senses. It's windy or raining. It's like they can't hear you, they can't smell you. As long as we're quiet, we'll be alright. And at one time, this was farmland for miles and miles. Now it's like the rest of the world. There ain't nothing. Nothing but those. Nothing for you, nothing for me. We can try to survive all we want. Ultimately, we'll, we'll end up nothing as well. Tell by the colors of the trees, the seasons change. Get long, it'll be too cold out here. Too cold to track these long miles. find the right place to build. Reckon we can build a base. It's old dirt road. Wow, Dad, it was alive, he said. So I'm take the road less traveled. Then it might be more difficult. It'll be worth it when you get there. I sure hope it's worth it. Every road I find, I pray it leads me back to my family. Up there ahead. I don't know if our prayers are answered or not. My mind's playing tricks on me. That right there is fresh water. up ahead's a building. I reckon we stick around here for the day. I 
Bracken will be fishing. Nice to find some binoculars. I don't know what that is. I see fire. I see smoke. That's one of those flags we seen earlier. Saw a building a while back, miles back. Had a flag. Looked like it was abandoned. This ain't abandoned. It's fires are fresh. I reckon that's somebody's space. I reckon there's people here after all. I bet we ain't the only ones. Anybody here? Hello? Anybody? Is there anybody here? Anybody? Help me. I don't want to be alone. How is all these buildings? No people. Like everybody just up and left. Those flames. Campfire. Somebody's here. Somebody's got to be here to help us. I don't want to go too far from here. If there's any sign of activity. If there's anybody in this county that can help. I reckon it's them. I reckon we follow the shore. Somebody's gotta have some abandoned fishing houses, boat houses, some hunting camps or something. Up ahead. Check these, uh, Check these houses, farms, buildings. Try to cook us some fresh fish tonight. It ain't home cooking. But I reckon there ain't no place like home. I don't see any smoke billowing from me the chimneys. Reckon these buildings are all like the rest. Nothing left. Let's see if we can find something to make a fishing pole. Nothing here but this teddy bear. Can't help but think of my kids. Some child's missing his bear. As much as I miss my kids. Would you look at that? Got an artificial fishing though. And a can of Pepsi Cola. And a can of coal. Lord knows how long. Oh. Don't 
exactly hit the spot. Ain't too bad either. Nothing here either. Partially there. Not the lure anyway. I reckon this GPS receiver. Badly damaged. The device that can receive a signal from the global positioning system. Triangulate a user's position. Calculate their altitude. Requires battery to operate. Battery. Got a lot of stuff we can get rid of, though. I believe that. I don't think I need that spark. Anything. Keep up. Sure is a beautiful place. at one time. Another flag. Another base. Is there anybody in there? Please. Is there anybody in there? Anybody? Answer me. Answer me. Plenty. Okay. Oh, grenades. Somebody's base, all right. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody in there? If you're in there, say something. I'm not one of them. I'm a human. I ain't infected. I'm just out here all by myself. Searching for my family. Please, you gotta help. I reckon the sun's going down. We'll have to finish this quest on the next one. Sure is a pretty way to end the day. I'm gonna build me a fire. Camp out one of these houses for the night. Suppose that's all she wrote for today.
Yo, I thank y'all for tuning in on this episode of Gentry Hudson, his survivor story. Now, not a lot happened in this uh, episode, but we do have some big things on the horizon. I'm super excited. I don't want to give anything away, but I think you guys are going to like it as well. All I can say is stay tuned. If you haven't hit the like button yet, do me a big favor, hit the like button. It lets YouTube know that you like the content. And we're doing a good job. If you haven't hit the sub button, do me a big favor, hit the sub button. And join us on our journey to our first 1,000 subs over here on the YouTube channel. Thank you all for joining me on this journey, not just today, but every day. I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe, look after one another, and be kind to yourself. You deserve it. And much love, everybody. Peace.